hi guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jesslyn in today's video i don't know why i beat my chest so hard <laughs> in today's video i'm gonna show you guys how to use stan store like, like if you guys don't know what stan store is i'm gonna put a video right here or a clip right here of what stan store is you guys need stan store for your digital like um your digital marketing journey you need stand store like you can't really do digital marketing without stand store or some platform to sell your product right but i just think that stand store is like the easiest easiest platform mainly because like you really don't have to do too much and today i'm gonna go in debt about every single thing on stand store what you need to get started and yes it's a paid platform but you do get two weeks for free Okay, so like I'm gonna show you guys every single step on how to get started, how to use Sandstore, how to put it on your Instagram. Because if you're doing faceless digital marketing, you need to have like a, a link in your bio on your Instagram, your TikTok, your um, Pinterest account, whatever account that you're using to do faceless digital marketing, you need a stand store or you need a link so people can click on it and go to your product. Okay, and today I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that using Stand Store. So let's get right into the video hi guys so now that you guys are able to see my screen we're gonna get right into it so the first thing i need you guys to do is to literally go to my youtube channel since you're already watching my video i'm pretty sure you're already on my youtube channel all you have to do is click right here on three links and then you're gonna click on join stand store right here i did this so it could be easier for you guys or if you guys want you could look into like in the description below you'll see the link for stand store you could click on it yes i get a little bit of commissions from it if you guys don't want me to get the commissions you can always go to google and just type stand store but i just thought like it would be easier for you guys to just click on the link instead of just going to google typing stand store and signing in you know what i'm saying and so basically Right here, you just click join stand store. So when you do join stand store, all you have to do is click on sign up right here. And basically, you, you're just going to put your username. What username do you want? So for example, like, um, like, let me give you an example. Like, let's say that you're going to put the username for me. Like you're going to put your, for me, I just put my name for my username. I just put my name for my name. I just put my name and I just put my email. You could put your TikTok If you want to, you put your phone number and password. And like I said before, you get a 14 day trial free trial to see if this is something that you want. I highly recommend having stand store because it makes it so much easier for you. You know what I'm saying? But it's to each his own for me. I highly recommend this, but if you don't want to, then um you could just do something else like another platform or something like that but for me i'm just going to talk about stand store today okay so once you sign up for stand store this is the page that you're gonna be um open with but mine i mean home right here is the page that you're gonna you're gonna see the first thing that you're gonna see for you the last seven days the last 14 days everything will be zero because you're starting from scratch but for me i have um i have things that i that i'm doing so like that's why like I have like store visits and revenue and leads or whatever. So that's for me. But for you, it's going to look different. It's going to be empty. So I'm going to go through every single thing in stand store so you can understand the purpose of every single thing. That way you're not confused when you're signing up. You're not confused when, you, um, you, when you're when you building your store or whatever. So the first page is home. Home is where it says, hey, your name. And I know that you guys sometimes are like, um, Oh my gosh, is this really yours? Whatever it is, I'm going to refresh the page so you can see it is mine. And you can see my name and my picture down here, okay? So, um, so first page is home. It's where you see your name. Hey, Jesslyn, welcome back. It says your store visits, your revenue, um, your leads, your everything. That's where everything is at, right? Every single day, it says like how many visits you've had store visits it tells you like how many people visit your store every single day okay so now we're gonna go to my store my store is the page that everybody sees when they click on your link so for you this is what you see for somebody else this is what you'll see in their in their in their computer for somebody else this is what they'll see on their phone they have they literally have like a phone right here to show you what it'll look like the final product will look like on somebody else's phone or device whatever it is right so here is where you add your product to add a product. You click on add a product to add a section. A section means right here. This is a section. Grow your Etsy store. That's a section. Um, master resale rights. And I, I have multiple products under that section. Um, everything is your product. I have multiple product under that section. When you need a section, you click add section. And then right here, you click edit, edit section. And then this is where you name your section, right? Um, Facelift, da, 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 
you just save and then this is the name and then you could move it wherever and then you have products under that section to delete the section you just delete section and that's it add a product is when you add a product you then you you choose if either you want to collect emails like for example you could give a freebie just for you to collect emails or if you want to add a digital product this is where that's the digital product if you're selling a course or whatever it is you could do that right here um the thing is if you're selling a course like for example um this course right here like um this course right here the roadmap to financial freedom right that course once you buy it from me it's yours forever. Once you buy it from me, you're able to resell it over and over and over again. So when you're, when you're putting that product in your Steam store, you're not going to put it as an e-course. You're going to put it as a digital product. And then, um, it's so like, for example, let me show you, actually, I can't show you because you guys will get my link. So you're going to sell it as a digital product. So add product, it's going to be a digital product. And then that's when you add like the link, your own link, so that you could get the money and that they could click your link and buy the course. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know if I make sense, right? So that's what like digital product is. It could also be a PDF or whatever it is, right? Like, let's say that, um, you're not ready to take a course. You're not ready to sell a course, but you're ready to sell different digital products, which is why I have the faceless digital marketing bundle. That way you get like, you get like over 10 digital products, PDFs and stuff, which you could use for yourself. They're eBooks and whatever. Like they're like, there are 10, over 10 eBooks in there. You get them. It's yours, right? Then you're able to resell them. You could have 10 products in your Steam store, or you could have just one product with a bundle, just like I'm doing right now. And that also be a digital product. And a email is when you give like a lead magnet, like a free thing and you get to somebody's email in return. Okay. When you, when you want to start doing email marketing, whatever coaching call is pretty self-explanatory coaching call custom product is anything that you want to do that's custom. And also like, um, we have recurring membership. If you want to do membership, if you want to do like, if you want your stand store affiliated link in your stuff, you want to do webinar e-course URL is like, if you have an, any affiliate link, for example, let me show you right here, ever be sell Samurai and Allura. They all are like my personal link URL that I could put in my store. If somebody wants to sign up for ever be sell Samurai or Allura, they're able to sign up through my link. You understand what I'm saying? anyways so that's what here basically that's what it is so now if you want to edit like you say okay Jess like your page looks ugly I don't like it I want something else <laughs> then you just go to edit design and right here you could choose whatever design that you want for your store whatever aesthetic that you want whatever theme that you want you could choose it right here you can also change the font right here to whatever font that you want and you can change the colors right here by having your custom color code, whatever it is. Okay. And income is where they show your income. The reason why I, I won't click on income is because when I click on income, it's going to be a hassle for me to like blur out people's stuff. And I have people's email in there. I have people's personal information in there. So I won't click on income, but I will insert a screenshot of my income from Stancer. Okay. So far. Analytics basically, um, analytics tells you how many people visited your store, how many leads you got, and your total revenue for the last seven days, 14 days, or custom range. And it tells you where your customers are from, what you where your customers go. Like, for example, my customers are mainly from YouTube and Instagram. And then where my customers go, they tell you the products that your customers buy. That's what it is. That's what they tell you right here. And then all that stuff. And then customers, I won't click on that because I was just telling me my customers, they'll give me my customer's email address and stuff like that. And I don't want you guys to see those things. Because I don't want to, I don't want to put anybody's personal information out there. I don't want to get sued. I don't have time for that. That's not something I want to do. Okay. So appointments right here is when, um, if you're doing one-on-one -on -one with anybody, so this is what the appointment section is for. You're doing one-on-ones, you want to put it in whatever it is. You put block time, whatever it is. For me, I don't really use that because I don't do one-on-ones with anybody. So it's not really for me. And then all these other things, funnels, appointments, email flows, ref like, okay, that, no. Appointments, email email flows and funnels, all these things. Um, Like, and there's like, e like other things, th those are required under the $99 per month, the Creator Pro. For me, I don't need the Creator Pro. So the basic $29 per month works just fine for me because I get everything done just like that. Okay. Now, 
when you click on my name, when you, when you click on settings, that's when you have your name, your phone number, and then your password and your email, whatever it is, right? And then integration is if you want to have any outside apps integrated into your stand store, like Google Calendar, MailChimp, if you want to do email marketing, this on a third. Billing is about like, um, it just shows you like your billing statements or whatever. Payments is how you get paid. So you have to set up your Stripe right here. Right, right here, I have a check that says you can accept payments and receive payouts. So that means I already set it up. And also, like, it says USD dollar. If you live somewhere else, you could just choose whichever place that you live that you want to get paid in. For me, it's you at United States dollars. And then your term and condition. Never forget your term and condition. And also, if you're reselling... um. If you're reselling other things, you have to make sure that you have that in your terms and conditions because it's just that. You know what I'm saying? Email notifications is when you want to receive. It's for you to receive emails. So I receive emails for all of these things. When somebody purchases something, when I have a lead, when I somebody cancels something, whatever it is, like that's what it is for. And that's about it. Like, since store is pretty sure for you don't have to do much. All you have to do is know how to add your product, know how to make your store looks quote unquote good. And then that's it. Like, you don't need anything. And when you feel like, okay, Jess, like, so now how do I add my link to my Instagram or TikTok? That's easy. All you have to do right here, that's your link. You just click copy link. And then that's the link that you're going to apply to your Instagram, to your TikTok, whatever it is. In the next clip, I'm going to show you what it looks like. And that's about it. Like, there's nothing much to it. I'm going to insert a screenshot of what it's, what it's going to look like if you insert your link. And make sure when you put your link, please, please, I'm begging you. I am begging you. I am begging you, okay? Please, when you're starting your, your, your Instagram, your TikTok, please don't go and email people and DM people and have in your bio, oh, my gosh, like, this course. Like, stop talking about the course. Offer something free. Build momentum with your customers. Build relationship with your customers. Build, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can, oh, my course, my course, my course. Like, please stop. I've seen it many times. I don't, you, I don't want you guys to do the same thing because it's embarrassing. Truly. And I've had people DM me talking about, like, my course, this, my course, that, like, okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, stop. Like, you have to build, like, relationship with your customers. Please don't do that. Please. I do not want to see you guys embarrass yourself out here. And I want you guys to succeed. Hence why I'm making these videos, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, concern, any comments, anything that you want to say to me, you could either email me or put it down in the description below and I'll make sure to get to it because you know what? Like, I'm here to help you guys. Whatever question that you have, don't be shy. Just ask me. I won't buy you. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.